All right, what's good, guys? Uh, first things first, I just want to say that my shirt has come. Uh, I picked up a few things this weekend at a flea market in in Bloomington, Illinois, where I'm from. Uh, it's not a small flea market. It's a huge thing. So got that, the stuff from the flea market, and a new pair of kicks to show you in a video. It'll be coming soon, probably uh, within a day or two. But this video... I'm going to address two things. Um, number one, the Yeezy 2s and just all of uh, what Nike, Nike has done and is doing to us. And then that'll probably lead me into the discussion about the LeBron 10s being $315. Now, you guys are probably saying, Yeezy 2, what's that about? Th those have been out for months now. But... Uh, crazy thing, my one of my best friends, his girlfriend used to work at Nike, and she has a friend that's currently working there, and my buddy just texted me a picture today, three pictures actually, of the Yeezy sitting on his table, and I was like, dang son, like how'd you get these? And the thing is, he's not a sneakerhead by any stretch of the imagination, but he loves, I mean, he loves shoes, but he has no clue about any of the information about them. Uh, he doesn't check any of the blogs, anything like that. He probably has about 30, 40 pairs of shoes, but he just buys what he, what he likes and what he sees. He actually, for the most part, has probably more Adidas than anything. But he tweeted, and he's, he's a huge Kanye West fan, so he, he definitely knew all about the Yeezys thought it was a dope looking shoe and he texted me all these pictures and I was like dang man how much you pay for those and he told me 275 he he paid uh, retail plus the shipping and he he said that his girlfriend the friend she knew from Nike had a buddy who worked at Nike that essentially I guess he saved somewhere like 10 20 pairs and one of the pairs happened to be in his size, my, my friend's size, which also happens to be the same size I wear. So I was kind of hating a little bit. But, I mean, I was, the whole time I was like, dang, man, good pickup, good pickup. So, like, I mean, I'm happy he got them. Um, but my thing, is, my thing is the fact that he was able to get them at retail at this point in the game just makes me wonder... How many pairs were held by Nike employees? How many pairs were held by store worker employees? I'm just curious as to how many pairs actually got out to the public versus how many went to workers at Nike, workers at the shoe stores, and celebrities. I'd almost be willing to bet that more pairs went to workers at all the different locations and celebrities uh, basically for free or retail then it went to the actual consumer that is the one that wants to shoe the most now I don't know if that's a good move by Nike honestly and I think that that kind of leads me into my next point of the price hike with the LeBrons now I, th I pretty much would assume that the reason they're doing this is because they see what the resale prices are and I mean we've got no one to blame but ourselves for this issue uh, anybody that's ever bought a pair of shoes at, at a resale price is at fault for this price hike now I actually don't know if it's going to help Nike at all because the fact is yeah you are now charging $315 for some shoes because you see the resale price of like the Elites, the Yeezys, the Foam Posit Galaxies, and all that, and you're like, okay, maybe we can um, hike it up a little bit and people will still buy them. But I, for one, am pretty much, I'm pretty much on a break from Nike. I, I don't see myself buying anything at all in the in the near future. I mean, the last pair that I bought that was either uh, was the LeBron South Beach Elites, 
and I also bought a, another pair that I'm going to show you in the next video, but it wasn't it wasn't that expensive, so I didn't have to worry about it. But I've just been going through eBay, looking at uh, older shoes uh, from different brands, stuff like that. And actually, that reminds me of something I kind of wanted to discuss as well. Reebok is stepping their game up, honestly. They're stepping their game up. The whole questions, that was a good start. I'm mad I missed them because that's really the only Iverson I, that I truly, truly liked. But they're going to be coming out with more colorways in the questions. Um, they just came out with the answer fours, I believe, with uh, the white and the black. They're coming out with four or five new colorways of those. Um, they're coming out with the Kamikaze twos. And they're, they're selling them for a decent price. And, for example, the, the answer fours, they did pretty much a mass production of those so if you want want those you can still go into the stores and get them the kamikaze twos they just posted something on nice kicks showing like six seven different colorways and that is a sick sick shoe that's a sick shoe and i'm sure the the price point on those won't be too bad so nike better watch their back because like i explained in a few of my videos i think the whole thing with them producing a small number of shoes at a semi-reasonable price uh, and not everybody being able to get them was continually building the hype but I think when with the raising prices of like the hyper dunks and the uh, Le LeBron tens I think it's killing a lot of people's love for Nike and Jordan in fact, I called my dad earlier today, and I mentioned to him about how I saw the Shoeseum was coming to Las Vegas, and he was like, would you pay 10 bucks to see it? And uh, I said, probably if I was in the area, I would. But then he was like, oh, you see this article about the LeBrons uh, being $315. And I was like, yeah. And we kind of talked about it for a little bit. He's like, yeah, supposedly it can measure the height of how high you can jump. And I was like, yeah, and he just started cracking up laughing. He's like, what is honestly the point of that? And I mean, when you think about it, what is the point? Unless you're somebody that can actually jump or someone that's trying to show off to your friends, I don't really see the point. There's much more accurate ways of measuring your jump, too. I mean, I've only dunked maybe 40 times in my lifetime. And that was probably three or four years ago. I haven't dunked in a while. So in my verticals, maybe 25 inches. It's not, it's not that high. So, I mean, those, the whole Nike Plus thing does me absolutely no good. So I, I don't honestly see what Nike's trying to do here. I think this is going to be a huge flop for them. And, I mean, even the, the look of the Jordan 10 is not that good to me. It's... It, to me, it looks like the Indestruct, the Nike Indestruct, and uh, or some other shoe. Like It looks like a combination of two very generic shoes that people don't give a crap about. But, oh, you throw LeBron's name on there, put a $300 price tag on it, and all of a sudden it becomes a nice shoe. Now... I think we look at it right now and look at all the colorways that have been made available so far and say, oh, it's crappy, what is Nike thinking? But I think the only thing that's going to possibly make this work is they come out with some new hot colorway that no one's seen before. Um, I've always thought something with purple, uh, which isn't, hasn't really been done a lot, is something that's been kind of lacking. Like kind of like the Grape Fives, or the Aqua Eights. Something along those lines, if that comes along for a LeBron, somebody throws a name on there, like uh, the Purple People Eaters, <laughs> or something stupid like that. Someone throws a tag on the name, and then all of a sudden, that $300 isn't looking so stupid because people are talking about reselling for 800 on eBay. So basically, it's not going to stop until we as consumers stop the, re the resale buying. So I've already, I've already put an end to that stuff as we speak. 
Um, and I think that everyone needs to look in the mirror and tell yourself, is a pair of shoes really worth $300? Uh, I really appreciate Hezkick's video asking about what's the most you ever spent on shoes. And I think there's a reason why it got the most uh, number of responses. Because it's something that's becoming a major issue in the sneaker game. It is the issue, basically. So I, I think we need to stop buying the, the shoes for the resale. And that, that'll end this whole thing. And uh, to my buddy that got those Yeezys, dang, man, that's all I got to say. Next time, I, I, I'm probably going to see him Friday. So if I do, I'll, I'll try and get some video footage of him. Still can't believe it. But uh, thanks as always. Oh, and I also have a giveaway coming up uh, for my 1,000, uh, as soon as I reach 1,000 subscribers. So... It's nothing big at all, it's just a t-shirt, but it kind of ties into my love of basketball, art, all that. It's, it's something, it's a shirt I designed. Um, basically, I designed a ton of shirts in high school. Like, I was really into art, um, and my whole love of art and basketball is kind of what drew me into sneakers in the first place. So I'll show you some of my painting, paintings, uh, t-shirts, and stuff like that. But unfortunately, I only have one. Uh, I only have one T-shirt that I designed that's still brand new. All my other T-shirts I wore, sold, gave away, etc. So, unfortunately, it's only one. One. I only have one brand new T-shirt, and it's an XL. And I'll go into all those details in my next video, uh, along with showing you my pickups and stuff. So, th as always, guys, thanks for watching. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, and see you soon. Peace.